Welcome back to Crusader of Cinti. I am Alan T. Tripp, and today we'll be going to Dahlia Valley, the first, strictly speaking, combat area. And no, I don't count the bees. First enemies are these little turtle things. They will continuously pop out of those little holes in the wall, so there's... Much like Zelda, there's really no point to fighting them. Okay, you gotta be careful of these things, because if you're still standing on them when they pop back up, you get hurt. Okay, that little X thing is important, because if you bust it open... One second. Okay. Did you see? There's a little stream of water. Now, if you can get to it, you can slide down to the next level. We can't reach that one just yet, so we'll move on. Let's see, more eggs. This game is pretty straightforward. There's not really a lot of branching paths, but uh, in a way, that's good. You know? Sometimes sometimes too much option, too many branches, but not enough direction can hurt a game, I feel. I've never actually beaten Zelda because of that. It's just... I don't know. I just lose interest, I suppose. Okay. No, I don't know why I'm... Okay. Gonna get a little health first. These boxes always remain constant, so... That one always has a coin in it. That middle one always has an apple in it. Let's see, and these bird things always drop a coin, so... It's always good to kill them off. Money's not hugely important in this game, though there are a few things you can't skip. A few things you have to buy. Information from a flower, for one thing, but we'll get to that later. Okay. Yeah, you gotta watch these guys. They're kinda hard to hit. Your hitbox of just swinging your sword's pretty small. Okay. Now, there's a way out of this area, but as you can see, we can't reach it. And the rabbit doesn't say much, because, well, we don't speak rabbit. Okay. Well, we've pretty much explored everything there is to explore in Dahlia Valley for the moment. Oh, oh okay. Okay. We'll move on to what we need to do. Now, that one guy said his uh, sister lived here. He can't reach her because he can't swing a sword. He can't throw a sword, I should say. Well, we can throw a sword, and we'll go back to that little spot with the X's. See, go back down. Be careful, don't have any eggs fall on your head. It hurts, and we're going to be doing our first boss soon. So we want to make sure we're at least full health. He's not really that hard. I'd argue that most of the stuff in this game, most of the bosses aren't that hard. Okay, yeah, so you can see the tip of the house right there. I'm going to bust this open. And, oh, let's kill this guy first. Okay. Might as well get out of... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought there was a door up here, I guess. I was thinking of something else. Okay, another X spot over there. But that one won't take us to where we need to go. Let's check it out, there might be some money. Nah, we'll check it out later. Oh, not quite. And here we go. Okay. Oh. All these crates contain apples, so if you need to heal up before the boss... Oh, okay. You can see her eyeballs poking out of the fireplace. This is our first boss, and his main method of attack is... to smash himself in the head with a hammer and attack you with the little stars and things that appear. Yeah, not terribly menacing, but okay. Oh. The real trick is that the little things will block your sword. You can kind of aim between them. Again, it's not too hard. He doesn't have that much health. You can see his is the green apples right below mine. In true Zelda fashion, once you kill the boss, you get him more health. Ah, the fortune teller was here just a moment ago. It's important, because, like I said, there's not a whole lot in this game to tell you where to go next. A lot of it's just basic following the path, but it's important to find the things there. You know, I just, I like having a reason for going there. So she wants us to go to the playground to see her, the fortune teller who warned her about this, the wolf. Saying she's more than just a normal human. Hmm. Ominous. Okay. I could, okay. Yeah, but a lot of well, NPCs, after you help them in this game, certain key ones at least, will give you a, will heal you up when you just talk to them. 
Which is good, because sometimes you're in areas that just don't have a lot of apples. Okay. Oh, let's check the other one out first. Can we get... No, I can't quite reach that. Looks like it just goes down to that area anyway, so... Eh, whatever. We will come back to this place later, so... If we missed anything, we'll pick it up then. I don't think we did, though. Okay. So, out of Dahlia Valley, and we're going to head to see the fortune teller. Take this moment to mention, I really love the soundtrack of this game. And for the most part, it doesn't even really sound like a Genesis soundtrack. There are a few ones in there that have that kind of twangy sound I associate with the Sega Genesis. Most of it's pretty solid. Kind of catchy. I always like the town theme. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to start digging it. Ah, notice the apple down there. We can't get to it yet, but just bear it in mind. Okay, this is the playground. The first time playing this, I did not know where this was. Because they don't really spell it out. And as you can see, it was kind of pressed against the side of the map. Or maybe it was my fault for just not being attentive. It's... Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of holes here. They don't really hurt you, but you can get stuck. Oh, look, there's Billy. Where are you going? Oh. Well, it looks like Mr. I'm Too Big for the Plaza. The Master of Disguise. Idiot. Okay, here's one of the few things you can do with money, but 800 Malin, that's a lot of money for this game. I may not even be able to get that, but, uh... Okay, yeah, you notice you can talk to the flower that doesn't say anything, which is normal, at least. Oh, there's Pico. Let's go talk out to him. I think he might have an apple for us. I might be thinking of later in the game. I might be thinking of something else entirely, but, eh, couldn't hurt. You can really tell your... <laughs> Fortune. <laughs> Sorry, I had the yawn. Okay. So we're still going to the fortune teller, next thing to do. Instantly, there's little stool things, you can jump on them later whenever you get the ability to jump. But they hurt you after you stomp on them twice. Okay. You're the one who's going to change the world for better or worse. Soon there will be a change in yourself, something that will allow you to see what you were unable to before. I want to say the American version just flat out tells you. I can let you talk to animals now. <laughs> I might be wrong on that, but, um, as she said, now we can talk to plants and animals. Tell her said she's going to Iris. Okay, I'm well, not a big deal. We can talk to animals, that's pretty cool. But, as you may suspect, there is a downside. We'll talk to Pico again real quick. Yeah, anytime you talk to any human, that's what you're gonna get. We can talk to animals, but to do so, for her to give us that ability, she took away our ability to speak to people. So now it's a good thing we know she's going to Iris. We're gonna take the short cut out, but I'm gonna check and make sure. No apple over here. I could have sworn there's an apple in this area somewhere. Maybe not. Okay, those little bushes, you can hide in them too. There's not really any reason to hide. It's almost like something they were going to put in there and just never got around to. Oh, there's a kid. Of course, you can't talk to her either. No real reason to sli uh, slice up the grass here. It, this grass, for some reason, won't drop anything. Nicely animated, though. Now, uh, here's an interesting little thing. As I go by here, you may notice that one of the flowers is slightly different. We'll come back to that later, though. Okay. Okay, so we need an animal that trusts us to speak with the hare. Good question. Let's see, and... The village of animals at Enemy Coast. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be seeing that place later. That's uh, not too far from Iris. Okay. Okay, so we need an animal that trusts us. Well, 
unfortunately, we have one of the most trustworthy animals, supposedly. Johnny, or Mac, in the American version. He's gonna come with us to speak on our behalf to the rabbit. Now, this is where you find out that instead of finding items like you would in Zelda in this game, you get animals. Every animal does something different. The dog will stop enemies who are getting close to you. Or anything that comes too close to him, I should say. Unfortunately, this is never a really good ability. <laughs> I mean, it's it's something, but I never found myself using it. I mean, technically you can push to C butt and have all your other animals jump up and kind of form a shield for you. But it doesn't really seem to stop anything. At least I've never noticed it. Anyway, we're back at Dahlia Valley. Gonna head back up and go talk to the rabbit. Let's see. Monsters, monsters. There's a reason why they're coming out of the walls, but like so many other things, we'll get to that a bit later. Let's see. Oh. This bridge. I kinda wish they would drop coins, because like it. Like I said, the 800 coins for the one health, the health power up. I may not even be able to get that, and I'm gonna try to get all the tre all the treasure I can and avoid wasting any money. Later on, you can actually hire certain animals to help out. I think there's like a cat who will heal you up. A bat who kind of does like a he flies around you as kind of a shield, which is I don't know. It's Really, it doesn't really come in handy, I feel. Well, I mean, the cat has a purpose, but most of the other helper animals just seem pointless. It's just like two of them, though. I just don't see a point in buying them. Especially since I think the bat is 50 melons, and the other one, which I think it's an egg, that I think about it, which is a weird uh, animal. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, there's that thing, and you sit here thinking there might be something you can do here. No. Plus, those push those blue things all you want. The blue box doesn't really have any point. Anyway, here we are at the peak. We can talk to the rabbit, or the hare, I should say. Let's see. Yes, very strange. Now, uh. Oh, here we go. Down here, need my help. I won't help you because humans are such untrustworthy beings. Can't fault him there. Dog speaks on our behalf, and he's saying, Yeah, well, of course, he feeds you. <laughs> Fair to say, a human who can speak our tongue is our friend. Kids, <laughs> not good advice. <laughs> Just because somebody can speak your language does not necessarily mean they are your friend. I'm encouraging you to be paranoid, just think a little, okay? Still, that passes us through Dolly Valley. So we're ready to head on to the next place. Now, we could go to Hot Daisy, but there's not much of a point. It's going to be blocked off. So we'll head to Anemone Beach first. Anemone? Uh, anyway. But we'll do that next time.